consider the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. To solve this equation by factorization, the first step is to find two numbers such that their product is equal to AC and their sum is equal to B. A is the coefficient of x squared while C is the constant term and the middle term is B. So, in order to factorize this quadratic equation, we need to find two numbers. The first number and the second number such that if we multiply them their product will give us AC and if we add them number 1 plus number 2 is equal to the middle term B so after that when we have found those two numbers we will split the middle term using these two numbers so we will, we will write ax squared plus bx plus c as ax squared plus the first number number one multiplied by x plus number two multiplied by x plus the constant equal to zero then the next step is to take the common factors out and simplify so we will illustrate how to do this factorization by using an example example solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. Now let's solve solution. The given equation is x squared plus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. Here we we'll see that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 10 a is the coefficient of x squared b is the coefficient of x while c is a constant term so we will find two numbers such that their product is equal to AC. So AC will be equal to 1 multiplied by 10. That gives us 10. So what are the factors of 10? Factors of 10 are the factors of 10 are 1 2, 5, and 10. Now let's identify the factors whose sum will give us 7 and product will give 10. Now if we take 2 plus 5, we will have 7. 2 times 5 will give 10. So we will take 2 and 5. The sum of the two factors are 
sum of two factors will give us 7 and that is 2 plus 5 product of these two factors product of the two factors will be 2 times 5 equal to 10. Now we will split the, the middle term in the equation. We will have x squared plus... Now instead of writing 7x, I'm going to write... 2x plus 5x plus 10 equal to 0. I've changed the middle term and written it as a sum of the two factors, 2 and 5. So instead of writing 7x, I have written 2x plus 5x. Okay. I'm going to take out the common terms and then we simplify. The common terms here between x squared and 2x, the common term is x. And between 5x and 10, the common term is 5. So I'll write it as x into x plus 2 plus 5 into x plus 2 equal to 0. It is very important that whatever is in this first bracket should also be the same as what is in the second bracket. Very important. In fact, it has to be the same. So at this point, we will write this as, we will take out this, x plus 2 multiplied by this one, x plus this, 5, equal to 0. So if the product of two numbers is equal to 0, it means that either the first number is 0 or the second number is 0. So we will write this as x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. So at this point, we have x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to minus 5. So you can see that there are two results here. x is minus 2 or x is minus 5. It is so because we just solved a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation will always have two roots or two answers. So minus 2 and minus 5 are the roots of the quadratic equation. So if this video has been helpful to you, then click the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.